We have one gallon of barnacle buster solution and two cups of water and a zinc anode here and we're going to pour in half a cup of barnacle buster into the water so it's two and a half cups of solution that will achieve the four to one ratio as required by the vendor and now we're opening up the zinc anode from the plastic bag and we're going to place it inside the solution and it's been 40 seconds since we started there appears to be some slight bubbling on the zinc anode but it's very it's not very noticeable okay now it's been five minutes since hang on hang, it's been five minutes since we started and there appears to be a light bubbling on the zinc itself but there also appears to be bubbling on the brass, which is what, pretty much what we expected. Okay, Johnny, go ahead. We're introducing a a holy sh. We introduced a organic product, and as you can see, the uh, reaction of the organic product is significantly greater. Hold on, hold on. We need to take it out and show the than what you saw on the. Yeah, because we didn't show it. Holy crap. All right, hold on. You gotta film that again. So they know what before and after, right? This is a rock with organic marine growth on it. Go ahead, Johnny, let it go back in. And the reaction is virtually instantaneous with bubbles emanating from all the fissures and pores within this rock. Compared to the zinc, this is significant. The zinc is minuscule. You want to pull the zinc out? Zinc is fine. Hold on. Put this. I can't even see it. There you go. Don't let it drop next time. grab it okay so as you can see the zinc is virtually intact and the bubbling was just on the surface that we saw